According to a new report, the secret service was billed more than $10,000 for the month of May of this year for the protection that they provided to Donald Trump at his new Jersey golf resort alone. And that's $10,000 by the way, that taxpayers have to pay to the Trump organization just so the secret service could be there to protect the former president. Now don't get me wrong, folks. I understand the former president is 100% entitled to, and in fact, deserves secret service protection. I have no problem with Donald Trump having secret service protection. What I do have a problem with, and I think everybody, if you stop and think about it, you should probably have a problem with this too, is the fact that this man is charging the secret service at his own resort that he literally owns and making them pay the money from our tax dollars back to him. He gets the money. It goes back into his pocket, at least a good percentage of it. That's what pisses me off. And we're talking about one resort, one month, $10,000. So far this year, the secret service has billed more than 50 or has been billed more than $50,000 from Trump's resorts. And that's money that the agency has to pay for things like rent. You know, Trump's there. You got to rent a room. You got to be close to him. Golf cart rentals. Cause if he's out playing golf, you got to have a cart to keep up with his chubby butt and even bottled water. The Trump resort won't even just give these people bottled water. And honestly, folks, that is what I have a problem with. Trump has the means to provide these things to the people sworn to protect his life. He could give it to him for free. He could literally nothing stopping him from doing that. But he says, nah, screw it. I'm going to make the U S taxpayers continue to pay my properties for the people that have to basically jump in front of a bullet for me. If they so choose, technically that's actually not a part of the job description of the secret service agents, just Hollywood movies have convinced us as such, but there's still plenty that have and would do that. Here's the thing. Throughout Trump's time in office, the secret service paid his resorts two and a half million dollars over four years, two and a half million dollars. The guy that boasted I'm donating my hundred thousand dollar a quarter salary to government agencies. Yeah, because you're making it all up on the back end, folks. Every time he went to Mar-a-Lago, every time he went to Bedminster, every time he went to any of his properties, the secret service was right there with him. His aides were right there with him. And instead of providing those services free of charge, even though he has the means, he's a billionaire. He doesn't technically even need the money, right? But he did it anyway, not because he's a savvy businessman, but because he's a greedy son of a bitch. That's what we're dealing with here. He doesn't have to charge the federal government for these things. He doesn't have to charge the secret service. They have the means to do this themselves. And that is what I have a problem with. I don't like a president. I don't like a politician past, current or future getting rich off the federal government just because they have the opportunity to do so. That is 100% wrong. Trump easily deserves secret service protection. I'm not arguing that fact, but I will never be okay with the fact that his business charges them, the taxpayers pay the bill. And most of that money goes back into his own pocket. That's never going to sit well with me ever.